Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at how to do statistics on the TI-36 Pro Texas Instruments Calculator. To do this we'll be using the second function key, looks like this, located up here in the top left corner, as well as the data key, that looks like this, located here. Now the first step we have to take is to enter our data set. For this example we'll be using this data set here, 10, 10, 20, and 60. That can be measurements, counts, whatever we want it to be. To do that, we first press data. And it brings up these three lists here. Now you can see there's already some data entered into list one, which we want to use. So to clear that, we can press data one more time to bring up this menu here. You can see we have the options to clear list one, two, three. And if we scroll down, we can clear all four. So we press enter there and see our list has now been cleared. We can then enter our data by typing it in. So 10, enter, 10, enter, 20, enter, and 60. Yep, there's our data set. As soon as it's entered, we can press clear to get up back to the main screen. Now, to find our statistics, we press second function again and the data key, which brings up this menu here. Since we're doing basic statistics, we scroll down to the one var stats, or one variable statistics, and press enter. We now get to this screen, which asks us, first, where do we want to take our data from? We want to use list one, so we press enter on L1. And then this asks us for the frequency of our data. Since we've entered all our data points, we can press enter on the one and then enter on calc. And it calculates our data. First we get number one, n equals four. That tells us there's four individual pieces of data in our data set. If we scroll down, we see number two gives us an x bar of 25 or a mean of 25. Down again, we get a sample standard deviation of 23.80476, etc. Now, if we want to find the variance for this standard deviation, we can press enter to place that on our screen. That represents our sample standard deviation. And remember, squaring our sample standard deviation gives us the variance. So we just press the X squared key and enter. And we get a variance of 566 and 2 thirds, which again, we can convert two decimals with this left and right arrow key here and get a sample variance of 566.6666 etc. All right and back to our data we get there by pressing second function data again and since our data has already been calculated we can stay with stat var. There we go back to our data. Scroll back down and we see number four gives us our population standard deviation, which is 20.6155, etc. And again, we can get the variance on that by pressing enter and squaring it to get a population variance of 425. Again, back to our data, second function data, and choosing number one there. Then we get a sum of 100 for our data, a sum squared of 4,200, a minimum value of 10. Yep. A first quartile of 10, a median of 15, a third quartile of 40, and finally a maximum value of 60 which makes sense as well. All right, once we're done, we can press clear to get back to the main menu. I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.